top screen looking how we want it. We have our filters working. As you can see, I've gone ahead and changed that back to category so that it's a little bit easier to filter and gives us a little bit smaller listing. We have our favorites available. There aren't any there yet. Let's go ahead and do all. But now when we click on these, this isn't really such a pleasant experience. There isn't too much information here and it doesn't give us any kind of map. It doesn't allow us to say anything. So we wanna add a little bit to this. Let's take a look at how to do that next. We'll need to add in some components. So to do that, we'll come back over to the left and click the plus button. And here we have lots of options. Starting with our favorite, we want to be sure that our users can favorite items. Next, we're going to come down and we want them to be able to write comments so we know what's happening. And then we're going to want to come down and add in a map. Now that the map is here, we have the commenting and the favoriting, it's starting to look a bit better. We'll know whether or not someone is enjoying it by allowing them to add comments. We can give them this favorite and let's also give that a rating. Why not? So we're just going to drag and drop that in here. Favorite rating and comments and then the map on how to get there. This is looking a bit better. Now we need to take a look at some of the work up here to make this a little bit nicer as well. As you can see, all of these items up here right now that came in, the menu item, owner confirmed, and the category are all text items, but it doesn't really make much sense for owner confirmed, for example, to be a text field. That can probably just be a check field that yes, it was confirmed by the owner that this is a gluten-free establishment. So we can come back to our insert component and let's put in a checkbox. So we're just gonna drag that in. It came in as location, so let's go ahead and make sure our data is now coming from owner confirmed. Title is owner confirmed. And then we can go ahead and get rid of this text that says owner confirmed. So we could call this something different now um, and just say confirmed gluten-free. And give it a bit of a description owner has confirmed it offers gluten-free items. Now, maybe that doesn't make much sense to have it up here anymore, so we could always move that below to the map so that it's good information to know, but perhaps we don't need it up top. And again, if we didn't like it there, we could always move it around. So maybe it makes more sense right above the map that we know it's been confirmed. Again, from here, you can continue making adjustments. As you can see, you can adjust some of these different layouts, entry, add entry fields, and put in more pickers, lists, relationships. There's a lot you can do to customize this experience, but this gives you a good idea of how quickly you can take just a simple database listing and create a bit more interactive experience. So let's go back to the main screen and see what we might need to do next. Now, if you didn't like the list look, there are a lot of other options here on the main screen. You could move to tiles which doesn't really make too much sense with our content here. You could also try cards. If you had any kind of image that you wanted to add on to each of these, that might be something you could do. You could add on different images here. But as you can see, there's a lot you can play around with. You can make the cards larger or smaller. It really depends on what it is that you're doing with the app. For now, let's go back to list so we can move on to our final step of customization and setting up all of the fine details.